Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. In the energy that you're in, um, you're in this empress, emperor energy, okay? You're coming in really strong in a lot of masculine energy and that to me is saying like I've had enough. I've had enough of being dragged through a battlefield. Love shouldn't always feel like a battlefield, okay? All right, it shouldn't feel that way. I, I feel like there's a person from your past here, this fool, okay? This fool really put you through it. They could have dragged your reputation through the dirt, through the gravel, okay? Um, they could have broken your heart, betrayed you, and left you there to bleed out on your own. Um, they, I feel like this, that's what this person did. They, I feel like they had you in the five of pentacles energy at one point out in the cold, possibly needing answers, needing clarity, need, needing help. And all they did was watch. Okay. I feel like they like seeing you in this energy because they certainly don't like you out here having a victory. Um, when this card came out next to the chariot, what I'm feeling like is this person is really trying to throw some kind of obstacle in your way, okay? They don't want you to be as abundant as you are, or they don't want, they don't want you to be as successful and abundant as you're going to be, okay? They don't like it. I feel like they want to do something impulsive. This person is, they're feeling like they have to make some kind of quick impulsive move, because they want to stop your progress or slow you down from moving forward, okay? They want to see you in the seven of pentacles with an empty basket in, in peasant clothing, working really hard but not reaping any rewards from it yet. They want to continue to have people talking about you behind your back, okay? I, I feel like it feeds this this person's ego it makes them feel bigger when you aren't doing as well as they are the fact that you're doing better than them okay you're doing better than this person all right um they hate it they can't stand it i feel like they just want to throw like i'm seeing this as rocks I'm seeing them as rocks, and they pick up the rocks, and they throw them in front of your chariot to try to trip you up or slow you down. So this person, um, oops, this person may be even trying to ruin your reputation, slander your name behind your back. Um, they're kind of doing whatever they can to try to slow you down because they don't like the fact that you're doing better than them. You know, they could be, um, they could be with someone else right now. There could be a competition behind the scenes. I feel like there's a karmic individual that's looking at you like she hates you too. You know, I, I feel like this person, they don't hate you, but they hate your progress. They hate your, um, your glow up. They hate your success. Uh, this karmic hates everything about you. She can't stand your beauty. She can't stand your success. She can't stand that you're moving forward. She can't stand you're an emperor energy. Okay? I feel like there's, this is like a third party situation here to me. Okay? You could be a, um, either like a Cancer or maybe a Pisces, Virgo. This person could have juggled you with a Cancer or a Pisces. Okay, and I feel like, um, yeah, this is somebody who's very cold, harsh with their words as well. They could have given you a very nasty cut off. They are all up in their ego. What did I say? It feeds their ego. It makes this person feel bigger to see you in a struggle. They cannot stand it. They're like they're they're angry. I feel like this person is mad angry and wanting to do just about anything to trip you up okay but they can't thank you divine with the world card and the chariot i feel like they can't and you're in some kind of spotlight maybe spirits put you up on a pedestal okay 
I'm getting like dirty clothes off of this person. I don't know. Is this, the, they could be a mechanic. They could be a construction worker. They could be something like a farmer. I'm seeing really dirty clothes on this person. So I feel like, um, I feel like they're not, they definitely don't have as much as you do. They don't have the success. They don't have um, the, I, you could ha even have some kind of fame here. You could be doing something on the internet, reaching uh, people around the world. Very balanced, very um, skilled and accomplished in your field, okay? Oh, whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like you've got your own business, maybe. You could have started a creative project that's now a huge success. Um, and you're making really good money, okay? Really good money. Um, maybe you started this project when you met this person um, and you weren't doing so good then. You know what I mean? You weren't, you were growing something, you were nurturing this, but you weren't able to collect any, any kind of reward from it yet. You know, you had to grow it. So you could have been in a financial struggle when this person met you and they could have instantly thought that they were better than you. Okay, I feel like you were very underestimated here and talked down on and had your reputation ruined um, and you were you took the blame for things. You took a lot of criticism, okay, but through all of that, you still persevered and you grew and now you've become successful and they can't stand it. They can't stand it. They, they're looking for a way or trying to think of a strategic way to trip you up, possibly without taking the blame for it, okay? I kind of get the sense that this person, they're trying to, like, dig up, like, any kind of information on you that they can, all right? I feel like they're doing a lot of gossiping about you. They could be asking your friends about you. Yeah. I feel like there's nothing they can do. This is fair. Yeah, this is fair. You get this new beginning. They get the Ten of Swords. It's done with Spirit out here. Spirit's like, you know what? Get out of the collective's business and you carry your own burdens. They're, you know what? They're not, there's no way they're going to ruin what is going on for you here. There's no way they're going to ruin this new beginning. There's no way they're going to ruin your business, your abundance. There's no way they can block the chariot. Only spirit can block the chariot. I feel like this person tries to throw some blockages in your way and spirit throws them back on them. Okay, they're in the Ten of Swords, that's defeat. The Ten of Wands, that's a lot of burdens. Here's their dirty clothes. Yep, because they can't touch the Anointed One. Yes, and I feel like you are. You're crowned, you're anointed, you're possibly a light worker, divine feminine energy, extremely tapped into the divine, very spiritual you know you're being spiritually led here as well. And spirit is like, no, you will not touch my anointed one. Mm -mm. Oh, boy. So this person is about to get their karma. You're getting your dharma. You're getting your good, positive, um, positive things happening in your life. All this growth, all this transformation, money, success possibly spotlight and they have to carry the burdens of their own life on their own you know they cannot try to ruin your success you worked for this you put in the effort and spirit is saying this is for you okay they can't have it they can't slow down your progress no oh my gosh you're you're so protected you are so protected yeah, this person is stuck. I'm feeling like a spiritual prison, spiritual jail off of this. 
you know, the nine of wands, the eight of swords, the 10 of swords and the 10 of wands, right? Yeah. There's nothing this person can do to block you. And if they try, they're going to get instant karma. Instant karma. Devil in reverse. Oof. This person, they've got to deal with their own rage on their own. They have to deal with their own burdens on their own. You know, their jealousy, well, they can burn up in that. Because spirit's not going to um, entertain the devil. Spirit's not playing when it comes to you, collective. The devil is not anywhere, they're not allowed anywhere near the anointed ones. Touch not my anointed ones. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Ooh. I feel like this person, I feel like it's a karmic masculine. All the way. This person's a karmic masculine. All up in their ego. Just wanting to see you suffer. And you know what? I feel like you don't have anything to do with this person, really. You know, you haven't had your nose up in their business. You've been paying attention to, to your business. Okay? You haven't been saying anything about the situation. Um, you've been very, very silent. You've just been focused and working on yourself. And spirit is like kicking this person out of your energy, basically, there, yeah, spirit is kicking this person out of your energy. This is a karmic masculine. All kinds of ticked off. Okay, because you're being blessed. Yes, because you're a divine being. You're an anointed one. And you're, you're leveling up. You're upgrading. This is also a decision when it comes to love. I feel like spirit is making the decision um, that this person is out. I feel, I feel like you're about to meet someone new here. Someone who's, who's going to work with you, not against you. Okay? Because this person over here, this is a karmic masculine, and you're a divine being, and there's got to be a split. There's got to be a split. You see it split right down the middle. Um, this masculine could be... A Libra, you could be a Libra. They could have been, uh, they could be a Virgo, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn. Spirit is not letting them back in. No more karmic individuals for you. I feel like the next person that comes your way, I feel is uh, the next person you get with. Okay, the next person you get in a relationship with. It's going to be a divine being. Okay, now the divine beings are re being redirected towards each other. And these karmic individuals, they're out here suffering their karma and learning their lessons. Yep, you're, this is being spiritually led to move forward. Leaving all of this crap behind. Okay, leaving this, this um, karmic masculine behind and all the pain that they brought into your life. All this person wants to see is for you to not being, not doing as well as them. That's it. That's their only motivation. They don't want you to do better than them. They want you at rock bottom. But now it's going to be them. This is rock bottom. Okay, so they're about to get their karma, and the, yep, they can feel it. They can feel it. The karma's coming towards them. All right? And this is what's happening, I feel, to everyone. The karma, the karma is hitting these people and passing over um, the people who are the true believers. Okay? And so they're about to get hit with it. They can feel it. They can feel it coming. They can feel it coming, but they refuse to let go of this grudge. It's, it's like this, they're in competition with you somehow, and this has now become a grudge. They refuse to let go of their grudge, so they're going to continue to get hit with karma until they fall on their knees and repent. Okay? This person cannot come towards you, and they can't come with you on the path that you're on. And you're on the path to success. 
So where does that leave them? In the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and hitting rock bottom. Okay? All right, so what else can you show me? Yeah, I'm getting the sense that this person is feeling sorry for themselves, angry at the universe, angry at you because you're having a victory and minding your own business. Yeah, you, yeah. Why do you get to have this beautiful life um, on, a, on a pedestal and they don't? That's what they're saying. They're angry with the universe. They know they're getting their karma over this. They know they can't come with you. They know you're being blessed and they're not. Okay? Yeah, they're feeling left out, which they are. Now they are. This is a karmic masculine being left out in the cold. You're leaving this person behind. And I feel like, too, they can feel the absence of other blessings in their life, like spirit is stripping them of everything. You know, they're, um, I, I feel like they're maybe they're trying to pray and yell at the divine at the same time, but spirit's kind of like, spirit's more focused on you right now. Okay, I feel like right now spirit is focusing on pampering and um, rewarding the people who did their work, the loyal, faithful followers of the divine. Okay, so right now you're in a time of receiving, okay? You're going to be receiving a lot of blessings. Um, you may already be noticing them rolling into your life, okay? And that's what spirit is focused on right now and possibly relocating some of their anointed ones, okay? Um, you could be getting the urge to relocate, um, get in an upgraded apartment or home, Okay, so yeah, yeah, and you may even notice that you've already started to pack boxes, you've already started to take things to donation, that's because Spirit is relocating you, and um, I feel like they're redirecting the um, divine beings together, okay, displaced divine masculines, divine feminines. And some of you haven't even met your true twin yet. This person was a karmic. This one here was a karmic masculine. You know, so spirit is really focusing on rewarding the anointed ones for everything that they've been through right now. And allowing karma to just um, hit these people who have been doing everybody wrong. Okay? That's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. The ones who have gone by the book, this is what spirit is focusing on, are the ones who have gone by the book. Leading you forward, giving you what you need in order to move forward. Okay? It'd be really hard to move forward in the Five of Pentacles energy. Spirit had to give you all that you needed to, to, to upgrade you and... Um, have you move forward maybe even to a new location that that's what they've been focusing on right now is rewarding the people who have gone by the book and that would be you collective but the others the the toxic people the ones that are for the devil those people are feeling that loss like there's a there's no one to turn to there's no one listening well it's because that right now right now these people are just kind of whining about it, angry at the universe, but right now spirit is focusing on you. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, because in order to build a new future, spirit has to replenish you with everything that you need to build this new future. Okay, so their focus is on you. And this connection is coming to an end. And you're going to be blessed. You're about to be blessed with someone new. This is a, a, this is a twin flame soulmate, okay? Or um, a displaced twin flame, okay? A displaced divine masculine feminine or the real one. Because like I said, you were dealing with a karmic. So get ready. Um, get ready to start a whole new phase in your life. 
Spirit is setting you up with everything that you need in order to do this. Okay, you are their main focus right now. The anointed ones, the ones who went by the book. Yep, and you're about to meet um, a true twin flame, okay? 